Looking ahead, NOLA Donuts is getting ready for Mardi Gras. And Cor Harlan is live this morning at their Northwest Portland location to show us how they're celebrating, Cor. What a better way to start off a Friday morning and uh, the Mardi Gras season than by looking at some, uh, man, just some pieces of art. Those are king cakes down there from uh, Robert Herx's NOLA Donuts here at, uh, in the 100 block of uh, Northwest 10th Avenue, just across from Powell's here. First of all, you, gosh, you were, you were up and about here when I got here 20 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, been up since 2 a.m. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's way too early. Tell me a little bit about the king cake, because this is, a, this is a, not only tasty, but it's festive, and it looks nice. You know, this is our apple king cake. Uh, it's a brioche-style dough, braided, and then filled with a little cinnamon sugar, and then topped off with a Madagascar vanilla glaze, and then uh, three colors of the green, gold, and uh, purple, which uh, signify justice, power, and uh, faith. Now, you, this, is, this is a sort of a staple of, of Mardi Gras. If you're in New Orleans now, you'd see, you'd see all these king cakes everywhere. Right? Yeah, you'll see the, the king cakes up, the king cake up front. Yeah, it's synonymous with Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And then we also make little mini king cakes. Uh, so not everyone wants a whole cake, right? Oh, I don't know about that. Everybody, everybody wants a whole cake, king cake, whether they eat it or not. I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be the case. But. And then we do some colorful beignets, too, Mardi Gras beignets. All right. And, and the colors, again, we can talk a little bit about this more as we go along here this morning. And, by the way, we're going to put one of these together ourselves a little bit later on. But the colors, again. Well, so they're uh, the royal colors, uh -huh. the, the purple, gold, and green. Uh -huh. And they signify uh, the power, justice, and faith. Power, justice, and faith. All right. I've got one or two or three of those this morning here. Jenny and Ken from NOLA Donuts this morning here, just down the street from Powell's where the Mardi Gras celebration has been underway here uh, for just about the entire month of January and into February here as they turn up the heat on some of the beautiful-looking king cakes here. And it's uh, it would be a shame to eat something so pretty, but I'll, uh, I'll break some of those barriers down and eat them anyway this morning. We're going to have to do that, Robert and I. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you will. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Sure we'll it's a tough it job. Too. Somebody's <laughs> got to get that done, right? In king cakes, they, they, they actually hide something in the king cakes. Mm -hmm. That's a tradition, too. Right. So well, that, for, liability, for liability reasons, they put them on top. I didn't want anybody ah, choking on any little babies in the dough there, so they stuck them on top there, right? I don't want to right? choke on a baby. All right. No. Well, we, we, we can talk a little a bit about the tradition of that a little later then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, time now is uh, 16 minutes after 5 o'clock. You're watching Coin 6 News. Yeah, we want to get to weather and traffic right now, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a little active before we get some yes. sun. That's right. So Saturday.